you will stabilize a fracture of the olecranon with tension band wiring. The instruments and implants used for this exercise include the pointed reduction forceps, the small wire cutter, the flat-nosed parallel pliers, the bending iron for Kirchner wires, a coil of one millimeter wire, and three 1.6 millimeter Kirchner wires. This ulna has a fracture of the olecranon just proximal to the enconeal process. Depending on the air drive available, it may be necessary to shorten the Kirchner wires with the wire cutter. Be sure to secure both ends of the wire while cutting. Place the proximal fragment in the vise. Starting at the caudal lateral point of the olecranon, drill a Kirchner wire, or K-wire, through the fragment until it penetrates the fracture site. Start a second K-wire at the caudal medial point of the olecranon and advance it to the fracture site with the air drive. If necessary, withdraw the wires to a point just below the fracture surface. Reduce the fracture and hold the proximal fragment with the pointed reduction forceps. Advance the K-wires into the shaft of the distal fragment. With a K-wire, drill a transverse hole in the distal fragment approximately 1.5 centimeters distal to the fracture site. Cut 15 to 20 centimeters of cerclage wire from the coil. Pass 10 to 12 centimeters through the transverse hole. The wire is brought tightly round the K-wires at the point of the olecranon, and while applying even tension to the free ends, twist them together, forming a figure eight. Continue to apply tension while twisting until the wire is tight. Now release the tension on the wire and continue to twist. The wire twist will come to lie flush with the straight portion of the wire. Cut the excess wire off at the level of the fourth twist. Bend the K-wires at right angles with the bending iron. Cut the excess off with the wire cutter. Note that the final position of the wire's twisted end is centrally located in the tension band. 